Mold closes part of a juvenile detention center in Norman. Our Jacqueline Sitt joins us live to show us the problem and what's being done to clean it up. Jacqueline? Hey, Kelly, good evening. The air purifier is in. The cleanup crew is out for now. And the county commissioner, George Skinner, tells me it could take a few more days before the cleanup will be done. We've had mold problems before, but uh, not to this extent. Mold stain carpets, chairs, and door frame force a courtroom to close at the Cleveland County Youth and Family Center. Somebody, don't know who, they changed it, the thermostats on the fans from automatic to on. And the, the, the fans draw uh, fresh air from outside. And with the high humidity that we've had, it's pulling the, high, the humidity in 24 hours a day. And that one button was all it took to leave behind a moldy mess and $1,900 worth of cleanup behind. Quite a lot in the uh, courtroom. With all this humidity, high humidity we've had, and the courtroom is only used twice a week. In the meantime, all the court proceedings will be taking place at the Cleveland County Courthouse. They are having the court sessions downtown at the uh, courthouse there. So after this is uh, completed, they will move back out here to two days a week. And Kelly, cleanup is expected to be done by this Friday. Back to All you. All right, Jacqueline, sit for us. Deputies are transporting juveniles from the center to the courthouse for their proceedings, and we're told that those extra costs are within the budget.